Hi everyone. Hello. I'm a mayor of chaos. Okay. So I have a mantra that I follow and it's two things unusual you never thought possible. And so what I want to talk to you about is don't let anything stop you from what you want to do. Don't think about it too much, just do it. Uh, write down all your ideas, no matter how silly or stupid, and make a list. So, you know, if you have ideas, just brainstorm and just write down everything. Don't even think about, oh, that's idea. that idea is stupid, I should just take it off. Just write, 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 because you never know how a little bit later what the idea that you thought was stupid will actually tie into a good idea that you had. You just need to change it around maybe, or maybe a different way. I have written songs before where I've had lyrics in the beginning and I wasn't going to use them, but then later on I did use them. So you just never know. While you're waiting for an idea to come to you, do something else. So like, I'll write down my idea and then I'll go do something else, like clean or, or just lay on the floor or something, and then something will come to you. That, that happens to me a lot, like if I'm making my Second Life videos and I want to do something a certain way, but I don't know how, I'll just look at my computer and lay on the floor and just look at it and something will come to me. Try to think about it in the back of your mind. So basically that is what I was saying is just do something else while you're trying to think of that idea. So a lot of people come up with excuses. I don't have the training. Then learn. There's YouTube. YouTube has a million videos on the subject that you're trying to do. So you can go on YouTube and search you know, for whatever you're trying to learn. There's probably a to-do video or a how-to video, how to do it. The library has a lot of books that you can get on the subject. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, uh, the library might not have the exact solution, but you can get ideas from this book and this book and this book, and eventually down the road, if you do what I said before, and take what you've learned from this book and this book and this book, write it down, and then go do something else, you might be able to tie in what you've learned, even if they don't have the exact solution that you need for your problem. I don't have the capability. Have you tried? I know a lot of people that say, oh, I can't do that. Well, have you tried? You know, if you try it, then you'll know if you can do it or not. If you don't try, you're never going to know. What is the big deal if you try it and you fail? Then you know that, that, that's, that you um, at least tried. I do believe that Einstein <coughs> tried 99 different ways to make the light bulb. And he said, I now know 99 different ways of how not to make a light bulb. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough good ideas. I don't have good enough ideas. Says who? You can be only the judge of how you feel about your ideas. Sometimes you may think that it's not a good idea based on what other people think of your idea. So you, you can be influenced by other people very easily, even subconsciously. So let's say we have an idea of I think our business should have a social media presence, but others say, we don't need a social media site because we're doing just fine. But what if you have a number of customers that are, like when you first started and social media didn't even exist and you had a ton of customers, but now the customers are starting to dwindle because they're getting older and dying off. Now you need a way to reach new people. So. A lot of the younger crowd and a lot of the older crowd use social media. So to reach them, you need to be where they are. Um, social media can describe what your business offers. I have a friend that does tech support, and so he recently did a video where he was fixing a certain computer, and he took pictures and uh, made a blog, you know, like a video log of how he was fixing it. And so now he can educate people without even knowing. They don't even know that they're being educated, but he got permission from the owner of the computer that he was fixing to take pictures and videos of what he was doing so that he could share it on social media. And on social media, you can describe what your business offers. I was just telling my friend who has rheumatoid arthritis that I have learned so much about rheumatoid arthritis based on the commercials. So it really opened my eyes as to what she is going through with her rheumatoid arthritis. So what I'm doing is I do mixed reality videos. And so I don't have any formal training in computer programming, virtual reality, or video recording. But I pursued it because that's what I wanted to do. 
So a mixed reality video is videos of real people in cartoons, like Space Jam, Mary Poppins, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Actors are filmed with a green screen background, and the video is merged with the animation. What I do is videos of real life places with computer generated people, which are called avatars. Avatars are filmed with a green screen background, and the video is merged with real life. So I'll show you a demo. Let's see. So. I had this up. Oh, yeah, it's right there. So this is my current Second Life coffee shop. Second Life is a, uh, it's kind of a video game, but it's more of like an online platform that people can build anything they want. So what they could, whatever we have in this world for real, they can build on the game. So we could build this building, and everybody could be in it, and we could be sitting at desks, just like we are now. So what I did is I built a coffee shop yeah, and this is my coffee shop. So what I do with my videos is I'm going to zoom out a little bit here because on top of this, because you have to buy land and so my land is limited, so I have to put it on top of my coffee shop. So what I did is, let's see. I have a very box, very big, green box that I built and what I do is put my avatars inside the box. I would take you inside the box but it's going to look the same anyway. So um, I go inside the box and then I'll set the guys up how I want them and so we have all the band members here and I'm singing and everything and I just record whatever I want them to do. And then it takes a long time to um, set them up. So for sake of time, I can figure out how to close this. <clears throat> so because I, oh, that's what I was going to do. So I'm going to pull this video into my Cyberlink video editing program. And so what I would do is put, I have to put this video down here because wherever the space that I'm going to be putting them in has to be up there, right there where the arrow is. And that way when I, then I'll show you how I take the green out this is called chroma key, and it concentrates on the green. So whatever is green you, is going to make it disappear. So I'm going to move these over because these are too high. And then this will take out the green. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot to tell it what to remove. Oops, that's too much. So I have now made everything that is green black, and then you push OK to save it. So then, if we go to the browser, I will show you videos that I've already made. So because I did the green, what I just did, I would do for this, and this is a video I made, music in the airport. So now I put them on the stage. Because if I hadn't done the chroma key, it would just be green. And then this one is the moon. And this one is at a quarry. I have a quarry set up, and then there's a coffee shop in the quarry. And then this one is a cruise ship. So they're up on stage on the cruise ship. This one is an airport. This is my previous coffee shop. And so that's what I do. Um, let's see. So in summary, I just want to encourage you to not let limitations stop you from the things that you want to do. So if there's something you want to learn and do, then just figure out how you can do it by doing what I said before with going to the library or watching videos or 
something like that to help you learn how to do something that you may or may not have the skills or education for. So, and that's the end. I have a question. Yeah. 